of our kind have not been pleasant. But we are here to talk, and you deserve answers. Good. See? We can all get along. For now. Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh, I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye, while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds. Including yours. They are all connected. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples, the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. 
You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. You're already in it. With artifacts come Starborn searching for them. Fighting over them. I want a truce. Between all three of us, I will give you some time. To think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Lesson in how dangerous they can be. 
Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there. You must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. Yes. I will say no more. That is all I ask. I hope you see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. While we're here, let's swing by Centaurian so I can pick up some ammo. While we're here, perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sam. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the Hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. I suppose it's better that we do it than allow the Starborn to continue this game of theirs unchallenged. Everyone stay focused. We're still in this to discover the unknown, even if that unknown has just gotten infinitely larger. Not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. 
These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there. Nicely done. Excuse me. Be safe out there. Everyone seems more distant in the Lodge. I guess that is to be expected. I wanted to thank you. For giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um... Unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I worry that some of the others are unable to see past this. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. That is kind of you. You also have a lot g going. I, I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... Um, but truly. Thank you. I know this seems trivial. Uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Thank you. That is reassuring. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting Quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but... It is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Indeed it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. I'm at your side. Good luck, Andresia. If the concept of luck is something that you believe in, of course. Luck will not be necessary, but thank you just the same. 
I think the Marshal was right about you. I'm grateful to have a little more help around here. Home's got the sanctity. Hard to fix once it's broken. before you asked. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm worried about you. That time you spent as a prisoner with those pirates, it couldn't have been easy. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as you pictured. Don't get me wrong, they weren't exactly having me over for dinner. But I wasn't being tortured. Okay. I'll trust that you're telling me the truth. But if you ever need to talk, I'm always available. I appreciate that. And who knows, maybe I'll take you up on that. If you need time away from here, I'll understand. We all have to recover in our own way.